I don't think anyone ever expects to wake up one morning and find themselves caught in the middle of a war between two secret organizations. I know I didn't. But here I am. On one side are the Templars, better known these days as Abstergo Industries. They're in the business of control. Politics, economics, technology. They won't stop until every single one of us serves them. Literally. Fighting against them are the Assassins, a group dedicated to safeguarding humanity's free will. I was born into the Brotherhood. A couple of weeks ago, the Templars found me. They took me prisoner, strapped me into a machine they built and put me to work. It's called an Animus. And it's where I spent most of my time, exploring the memories of my ancestors, discovering entire lives locked deep inside my DNA. First, I revisited the life of Altair ibn La'ahad, an assassin from the Crusades. The Templars wanted the location of something known as a Piece of Eden, an ancient artifact capable of bending people to their will. Once the Templars had what they were looking for, they decided my usefulness had come to an end. But Lucy saved me. Lucy. When things were at their worst, she revealed herself to be an assassin and helped me escape. I was hoping that would be the end of my misadventures. But we were just getting started. Back into another Animus I went. Now, I'm reliving the memories of Ezio Auditore da Firenze, my ancestor from the Renaissance, searching for a path forward. Through the bleeding effect, I'm becoming an assassin in more than just name. It will come in handy as the Templars prepare to enslave us all. They found us. They've crashed our hideout and we're fleeing the scene looking for a place to hide. Only there isn't any, and time is running short. My name is Desmond Miles, and this is my story. Run some diagnostics. I'll get back to you. Understand. Please wait. I have so many questions.
in the hands of the Earth than in the hands of man. Uncle! What can I say? We sent a single man against an entire army. I was worried. Quick, climb up. We have to get out of here. I would not believe the things I have seen, Mario. Then be sure to stay alive that I might hear of them. I expect opposition. And I expect the Borgia to mourn the loss of many lives tonight. Assassini! God will see you pay for your crimes! You have desecrated the sanctity of this holy place! You condemn what you do not understand! We must go, Ezio, now! Master Conte, he is in the voice of the devil! Turn away from the Lord! Did Rodrigo manage to hurt you? Barely. My armor blunted his attack. Be ready to fight. What are you doing? Saving you from the look of <laughs> Not bad for an old man. Agree. You still have some skills. Buona questa. Excellent. Good one. Impressive. Yes.
This decision is yours alone to make. Only do so quickly. Give it to me. You can do with it as you will later. Bene. Jump! Then Minerva talked about the sun. She told of a disaster that occurred long ago, and another that is coming. Sometime far in the future, Vero. Then we need not worry about it. See, si. Perhaps our work is finished. Would that be so bad? <laughs> <laughs> we upgraded the arsenal while you were away. Ah. And it is now customary for you to fire cannonballs at visitors. My apologies. We only installed them a few days ago. My men are still being trained in their use. This place just keeps getting better. Thanks to you. Brother! Claudia. It is good to be home. How is mother? She's fine. I, I heard you were returning, but I'm glad to see it with my own eyes. The Contessa of Forli is here to welcome you. I had no idea you were so famous. Katarina? Here? Is it finished then? Is the Spaniard truly dead? Gather the others in Mario's study tonight. I'll explain everything there. Steal yourself, Ezio. They will have many questions. Claudia, tell the Contessa I look forward to seeing her this evening. The men in this town are no better than little girls. An army should be helping me. And look. Need some help. Salve. So many flowers. Your husband must be very lucky. I am the lucky one. I have you here to aid me. Let me see what I can do. Back there, I may have given you the wrong impression. Oh? I have no husband. The flowers are for a party. Am I invited? to Claudia Alditori's birthday party in the villa. If you are willing to help me again, I need someone with class to accompany me. What makes you think I have class? I could tell the moment I saw you. No one in this town walks with such bearing. I'm certain Ezio Alditori himself would be impressed. Oh? What do you know of Ezio? Claudia thinks the world of him, but he rarely visits her. 
From what I gather, he's distant. She is right. I have been. Oh no. You? The party was intended to be a surprise. Promise you not her, Claudia. What will you do to keep me quiet? I am sure I can think of several things. I'll be waiting to hear them when we get there. Now about earning my silence. I have something in mind. There is one condition. Anything. You must wait until tomorrow. If it pleases you, I will not stand in your way. It will be worth the wait, Ezio. Trust me. So, these are the new cannons? Yes, Signor Ezio. May I try one? Yes, but... Go on, tell him. We cannot seem to make them work properly, and the fool who mounted them is nowhere to be found. Then it is up to me to find him. We do not want to waste your time. It is not any trouble. I have all the time in the world now. Salve, Messere. We need you to fix the cannons on the battlements. Leave me be. I do not begin repairs before noon. Do you know what time it is? I make cannons, not clocks. If you are busy, someone else will fix them. Uno momento. No one else will touch my cannons. Soldiers have no respect for artillery. They expect a gun to work like magic. You need to feel her out. Give her a little encouragement. We are only equipped with simple cannons now. But I got hold of a design from Francia. Yeah? A hand cannon. Something called a wrought iron murderer. Imagine firing a cannon from your hands. <laughs> that is the future.
What have you done? We used them. They were not ready for firing. You could have gotten us all killed. Let me see. <laughs> His breath is more fatal than our cannons. Only when you two fools are shooting them. There, try it. Aim at something to test the alignment. must be behind it. Perfect! At least someone here knows how to shoot. Now, for the other one. I must go. Thanks for your help. If you hear the cannons tomorrow, do not worry. We will be practicing at dawn. Too bad it will not do you any good. Very funny. Now fix the second cannon. Buongiorno. Ezio, Mario is going to murder me. I have lost his favorite horse. Do not despair. I will bring it back. God bless you, Ezio. Here. Grazie, Ezio. I can no longer keep up with the horses. Promise me you will enjoy your good health. Do not spend as much time in battle as your Uncle Mario. My battles have already been won. That is good news. Arrivederci, Ezio.
Buongiorno, Ezio. Caterina, to what do I owe the pleasure of your presence here? I desire an allegiance. The papal armies have resumed their march on Forli. Your mercenaries would be a great asset to my cause. It is likely that I can give you what you seek. But we will talk later. Mother! Machiavelli. It is done. Though not, I think, as any of us expected. I enter the Vaticano and faced Rodrigo. No! He used the power of the papal staff against me, but I defeated him. Combining the staff and the apple, I gained access to the vault. There, a moving painting of the goddess Minerva spoke. She told of a terrible tragedy to befall mankind in the future. But gave hope of lost temples that will provide aid to humanity. And then she called out to a phantom, Desmond, as if he were there. Standing beside me. After her warning, she vanished. Amazing. I cannot imagine such wonders. The vault did not house the terrible weapon we feared. This is good news. What of this goddess, this Minerva? Did she appear human? Yes, but her words proved otherwise. All of her kind died many years ago. I wish I could show you the magic she performed. Who is Desmond? Where are these temples Minerva spoke of? I do not know. Perhaps we must search for them. Tell me how it ended with Borgia. Did Rodrigo beg forgiveness? Make excuses? Promise power in return? No. None of those things. Interesting. I'm surprised he remained so composed. I let him leave. The Spaniard lives? Once our enemies are dead, we can speak of vaults and gods and ancient places. You should have killed him. We're sure to suffer for it. I am not here to debate the past. Together, we should discuss the future. No. I am leaving immediately for Roma. Ezio, I do not know why you spared him, but I trust your judgment. Machiavelli will come around. Welcome home.
ready to go again? You don't need to ask. <laughs> One should always have the freedom to choose. Shh. What's that? <sighs> Probably just training exercises. I have to find Mario and rally the troops. My men are in the courtyard. I aim to lead them around back and flank our attackers. Stay out of sight. not see this. They must have massed to the east during the night. We need to hold them off until the townspeople have escaped. I will take care of it. Use the cannons above the rampart. I intend to lead a frontal assault. Do you have it? I am keeping it safe. The Borgia must not be allowed to breach the walls until everyone is safely away. Insieme per la vittoria. Insieme. Uncle, be careful. I will.
group of assassins. And this! Give me the gun, his friend passion for us. We've had too much bloodshed. I think a cleansing is in order. So consider this an invitation from my family to yours. Basta! I can walk. Look out! They are coming! Everyone, retreat to the villa! Uh, I cannot fight like this. Stand with me! Cut his legs off! Oh. They know that they have run. Get him! Get through. I will hold them back. Stop! Wait for us! We thought you had been killed, Sir Ezio. Not yet. Where does this passage lead? To the north, outside the walls. I am surprised it exists. <laughs> Let me through. I must go help the troops. Hurry, Ezio! Where's Mother? Is she all right? I am here, Ezio. Grazie a Dio. Could not leave without you. The way out will be dangerous. Protect our mother. Where is Mario? I thought he would be waiting for us. The Borgia infantry are circling the town! Mario is dead. You must leave this place. Take mother to Firenze. Get me a horse. You are not coming with us. Where are you riding? To Roma. Magic. Go, my son. Destroy them. But remember for whom we assassins fight.
Lucy, I can't seem to get a position on Ezio's POE. POE? Could one of you tell me what's going on? Sorry, Desmond. Peace of Eden. In the Vatican, Minerva talked about other temples, that they're the key to preventing whatever terrible thing is about to happen to the Earth. Right. To find the temples, I'm convinced we need to get our hands on Ezio's Apple of Eden. Minerva altered it somehow when she touched it. Wait, we're at the Auditori Villa. Yes, it's our last safe house in Italy. It turns out the Templars are watching the border. Ezio hid the POE sometime in 1507, but when I try to access that DNA sequence, he seems to be remembering something else. Like a memory inside a memory? Yes, exactly. Maybe. Exactly maybe? I believe you experienced something similar back at Abstergo, didn't you? Subject 15 exhibited memory within memory-like patterns, but she was pregnant. The memories of both the fetus's father and mother were competing. Desmond's not pregnant, at least, as far as I can tell. Might just have had a big lunch. Can you skip ahead to a later memory? No, it doesn't work. Well, that sounds familiar. We couldn't access Altair's later memories until Desmond had improved his synchronization. Then it's possible something similar has occurred here. Ezio's troubled state is being transposed onto Desmond, destabilizing the memory. Either that, or Rebecca's just not a very good engineer. Thanks, asshole. What? I'm simply listing possible explanations. And that is amongst the most likely. Touchy. This place isn't secure. Cell phone surveillance can see right through the walls. Don't you mean satellite surveillance? Are you kidding? Abstergo upgraded his cell towers ages ago. The waves go through everything above ground. They're gonna find us. No, they aren't. Come with me. There's a beam blocking it from the inside. We're not getting in this way. What's our next move? The road just loops back into the highway. This is not a good place for us to be right now. Do we have any tarps? We need to cover up the van. I really hate to stress this, yeah, but we are running out of time. Well, help us then, Sean. Do you have any ideas? I don't know. Maybe there's another way into the sanctuary. Hey, I think I've got something. Follow me. Desmond, that was pretty... awesome. It just felt natural. We can get in through here. Good job. We'll just wait up here then, shall we? Yeah, all alone, with, with massive targets painted on our backs. Won't this turn on? It's great to be out of the Animus. This isn't exactly my idea of a good time. Well, let me guess. You're more the inbedded six type. What? Desmond. I know how to have fun. Oh, that's very convincing. Yeah, I'm convinced. Okay, okay. After we save the world, I'll show you. Wait, can I get that in writing? <laughs> we have light. What was that? I don't see anything. Run! Get out before these soldati catch you! Correte! Go! They escaped through here. What? Ezio and the villagers. After the attack, I can see them now. I know it's difficult, but try to compartmentalize, Desmond. Focus on the present. What if I can't stop the visions? How long before I start painting symbols on the walls? Don't joke about that. Sixteen is dead. We're focusing on the present, okay?
great. It's stuck. I can get under there. Ready. Any chance you can lift that gate? Not unless you want me to end up like that skeleton. I'll find a way around. I can drop into the corridor below through here. Watch out for bats. Where? I meant in case you see any. Remind me not to make you a lookout. Desmond? Uh, three more ghosts. I'm here, okay? Stay with me. Did anything fall on you? No. Is Mother all right? Desmond, we can't climb this. How about you give me a boost? That's a bad idea. I could throw you into the air and you grab the ledge. Even worse. Follow me. How about this? What are you going to... <gasps> nice job. I aim to please. I wonder how old these tunnels are. Middle Ages, probably. Luckily, the beams still hold our weight. After all this time in the Animus, I'm not so sure. Yeah, I didn't want to say anything, but you're really getting fat. Ouch. I even told Rebecca to widen the Animus. Seriously? No. Up we go. Ready. You know, when I came here last... When Ezio came here. Yeah, I meant Ezio. I shouldn't put you through all this. It's not right. Hey, all joking aside, I'm having the time of my life. It's thanks to you. Just focus on where you're going, okay? When did this become my job? If I pulled all the levers, then what would be left for you? Nothing. Nice try. Ready? Found a switch! Something's open! Ezio gets a bath with Katarina Sforza, and I get a swim in a toilet. I've got this one! Man, it's freezing! Stop whining! It's easy for you to say. You aren't swimming in medieval toxic waste. Ugh. I smell terrible. You're exaggerating.
remember, this is the time of your life. Yeah, yeah. Ready? Go. Okay, release it. How come you don't have to get wet? Because you're here. Charming. Aren't I? I've got you. Thanks. Ezio! We're on the other side! Hurry! Cazzo! Ah! Dio mi salvi! Great. The bridge is out. We can't jump this. I have an idea. You'll have to help me. Stand at the edge and get ready. Ready. <sighs> Made it. Let me see. Oh, you go on ahead. I'll just stay here to die in the dark with the bats. Nice work. The bats will be disappointed. For now. Soldati, I have found an entrance. You'd think these stairs would lead somewhere. But they don't. Well, life is full of disappointments. I'll wait here. Good. Let me just go and get that bridge down for you. Uh, I did the last one. And I'm sure that will be your last one. Ha ha, very funny. Got it! Thank you, Desmond. Now it's my turn to even the score. There. Thanks. 
That's a start. Do your magic. Up you go. Thanks. We make a good team. Okay. <clears throat> so old. Ezio must have come back here way after the attack. But why? Desmond! Right. Let's open that door. There's something here. Can you... Uh... You guys did it! About bloody time. What's that? Looks like something Ezio left behind. There are numbers underneath it. 1419. 
1420 and 1421. <sighs> Maybe you should lie down for a bit. No, it's all right. I'm fine. Whoa, they really built this place to last. No signs of structural damage, no cell signal either. Should be safe to set up. Let's get the Animus down there. Okay, everything's good here. Sean, hide the van in town, and make sure you aren't followed. What? Why is that smell? It's my clothes. They smell like you swam through a sewer. It was Lucy's idea. Wait a second, guys. We need power down here. There's a line running nearby I can hook into, but the wattage is weak. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Anything else you two would like? You know, some caviar, perhaps? Maybe you'd like me to, to knit you a lovely hat. No? Fine. Follow me. Look around Monte Regioni for circuit boxes. Rebecca's little doodahs, they'll reroute small amounts of electricity to the power line underneath the villa. Don't ask me how they work. If I understood that, I wouldn't be the fella hiding the van. I'm back. Just in time. The sun's rising. Yes! It's booted. We're good to go. Did you miss me? No? Anyone? Hello? Am I speaking out loud? Hello? Work, Alex. Let's get started. As you may have noticed in the van, I've made some improvements to the Animus, and I've also patched in a new VR training program. Here you can show off all those flashy moves you picked up from your ancestors. Let me open one in the mission. Thank <laughs> you. 
You can access more VR missions through the Animus desktop. As you complete training sessions, I'll add additional challenges. To stop your subconscious from rejecting Ezio's later memories, you're gonna have to live them in the order his genome recorded them. Highlight sequence two for me, Desmond. Good, now select it and you're gonna see the memories inside. Once you've unlocked a memory, by accessing this menu, you can relive it as many times as you want. But what if there are memories I just want to forget? Desmond, this is very important. If you need to take a break, log out of the Animus. You can leave the machine whenever you like. I'm all set to go. Don't worry. One last thing. As you raise your synchronization by executing events the way Ezio lived them, you might even discover some repressed memories. Okay, let's get started. Select the first memory. Desmond, I've been looking at those gibberish five-digit codes from the end of Subject 16's files, and I seem to have discovered a remarkable coincidence. The codes correspond perfectly with coordinates inside the Animus. I've tagged the landmarks, pinpointed by the coordinates with eye icons in the database. Now, odds are you won't find anything there, but... Well, who knows? Calmatevi. The pain will end soon. Where have you brought me? Nowhere, Messere. A man left you here. Did he say anything? Only this. You are to meet Messer Machiavelli in front of the Mausoleo di Augusto. Let me help you get dressed. The same man who brought me here gave me these clothes? Si, Messere. Yes, or what is left of it since the Borgia came to power. And the mausoleo? Unfortunately, you cannot see it from here. How about from the top of that church? Yes, but the stairs up are closed. That should not be a problem. Vi ringrazio di tutto quello che avete fatto per me, buona donna. Addio. I need to find the doctor. Ah, oh, my arm. Salute. I require medicine. Ah, uh, let me look. Someone your age cannot recover from a wound like this with medicine. Here is something to dull the pain. You will heal over time. Grazie. Four out of five doctors would suggest leeches, but they have not proven effective against such things. However, I can recommend several good colleagues around the city. Do you need anything else? Um, trust the skill of your own local medical profession. Someone my age. 
Village. Imbecile. Back. Gone out that a peasant is resisting arrest. We will show him how things operate under the Borgia. Machiavelli can wait. Joining a merchant ship. I have not had work as a clerk, you know. Beautiful. <laughs> she was. Until that porco defiled her. I wish he'd just killed her. I wish he'd just killed La Mia Mata. People who saw her grow up cheered when he spat on her. Smiles on their faces when her neck. I understand. How can you? My Livia was innocent. I have lost family to the rope. The treachery. Il Carnefice watches from his home on the hill above. He threatens to hang me if I cut her rope. When you are ready, take her down. I will deal with Il Carnefice.
nice work down there. Uh, not my best, but it's hard to make art with poor materials. Requiescat in pace. Ezio, what a surprise to see you here. I thought you had sent for me. Never. News of the Villa attack has spread across the city. We were certain that you were dead. Not yet. I am still very much alive. The Borgia must not discover that you escaped them. Follow me. Take care not to draw any undue attention. When do I ever? You would be wise to purchase missing equipment. You will not live long in Roma without supplies. I have my blade. And the guards have their guns, courtesy of the Borgia. Fortunately, I can help you. Grazie. While you are in my debt, perhaps you will listen to reason. As soon as I hear some, I will let you know. I may be expensive, but my... My goods are worth the extra quatrine. Yes, you seem rather rustic for my high quality goods. I'll just count it again. Do I have to call the guard? Then, now you can survive. Back to Firenze. Perhaps. But I'm not going to Firenze. Oh, 
There will be no peace until we rise up against the entire Borgia family and the Templars who serve them. I do not recall such brave talk at Monteriggione. How could I have known that they would find me so quickly? That they would kill Mario? Rodrigo surrounds himself with snakes and murders. Even his daughter Lucrezia has been sharpened into one of his most artful weapons. But she pales in comparison to the man behind the villa attack. He is ambitious, ruthless, and cruel beyond imagining. The laws of men mean nothing. He murdered his own brother to take power. He knows neither danger nor fatigue. Those who do not fall by his sword clamor to join his ranks. The powerful Orsini and Colonna families have been brought to kneel at his feet, and the King of France stands at his side. Give me his name. Cesare, head of the papal armies. What does he intend to do with his power? What drives the man? That I still do not know. But Ezio, Cesare has set his sights on all of Italia, and at this rate he will have it. Is that admiration I hear in your voice? He knows how to exercise his will. A rare virtue in the world today. Should we not travel by horse? Roma is quite large. As Cesare's conquests in Romagna continue to succeed and the Borgia grow in power, they have taken desirable areas of the city for themselves. We cannot use the stables here. Oh, the will of the Borgia is law now? What are you implying, Ezio? Do not play dumb with me, Machiavelli. Do you have some kind of plan? I am improvising.
Just because you kill a few guards does not mean the people will grant access to the stables. You are right. We need to send a signal. Wait here. It seems this table is now available for purchase. After you. <laughs> 